Hey guys, welcome back to another VCM Suite tutorial video. My name is Tony Ganyan and I'm the North American Ford Gas Sales Manager here at HP Tuners. Today we're going to show you how to perform this super simple crank relearn procedure. So the crank relearn procedure allows us to take the crank and the camshaft and correct the correlation between the two. Let's get into it. Okay, so a common thing that has to be done is a crank relearn on the Fords. One of the reasons why is the actual crank sensor is on the side of the block in the back and the actual reluctor wheel is between the flywheel and the crankshaft. So if you disturb that by taking the flywheel off and changing it out, which is what happened with this customer, and the crank reeler needs to be done because you've disturbed that actual crank reluctor ring. In this case, he was saying that he's been driving it since he had the transmission put in and he's had a check engine light come on for a random misfire. Random misfire is my first clue, did someone do a crank relearn? He said, I don't think so because the transmission shop put it in. So my goal here is to make sure that everyone knows, including transmission shops, that they need to do a crank relearn when they put these transmissions in these Ford products. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scan it and actually see what the code is. So I'm going to connect to the vehicle key is on. We're going to connect to the vehicle here and we're going to read what codes it has. We've connected to the vehicle. I'm going to go to my little diagnostic and info and we're going to go to D read DTCs and you can see we have a P0300 random misfire code detected. That's my first clue that we need to do a crank relearn on this vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and stop the data logging. All right and we're actually going to Read the vehicle as a backup, just in case. I always do the read. So I'm going to do the read, gather info on it. 2017 Mustang GT Coupe. There's the operating system. I'm going to go ahead and select read on it, and it'll be about a few minutes for us to do the read. Okay, so now the read is complete, and I've saved it with his name, Stage 2 Roush, right here. So we have the file just in case anything really happens in the future. We've saved it. At this point in time, we need to look at the crank relearn procedures. We're going to come in here. We're going to connect back to the vehicle. Ignition switch is on. I'm going to go ahead and clear the actual code first so it's cleared in the system. And then we're actually going to connect to it to the crank relearn procedures. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We are now connected to the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and go to our vehicle controls and special functions. We're going to go here to the crank relearn procedure. Now, you're going to make sure the engine is running ECT above 80 degrees, which is basically 180 degrees. Parking brake is applied. Transmission is in neutral. Check. And there'll be a brief pause when we click the OK. Okay, so we're going to crank the vehicle. We're going to select OK. Press OK and raise the engine above 4,500 RPM. I'm going to click OK and we're going to go over 4,500. Here we go. Crank relearn is now successful. Right on our screen right there. Completed process. That is how you do a crank relearn. Go ahead and shut this off. I'm going to stop the data logger. I can't stress how important this is. In 2011, Ford was paying for a lot of engines because the dealers were changing the clutches in them and stuff like that, and the engines were coming back blown up. And the fact they didn't have the crank relearn procedure in paperwork at the time was really bad. So Ford caught on to that. Now the service tech has to write it, and the service writer has to write it. So every person that does this, whether you're at home doing it yourself, or a shop's doing it, or a transmission shop, you need to know how to do the crank relearn procedure to make sure your customer's car doesn't get tore up. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a better grasp on the crank relearn procedure. If you have any questions, please comment below so we can help you out. We also have plenty of resources linked in the description to check out too. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content and we'll see you in the next video.